About a year prior to it, I was thinking of really good ways I could propose to her. Something she could remember. I came across a video of a flash mob and I spent about six, seven months sneaking off trying to get into dance and trying to do dance without her finding out. I, I was thinking about venues I could do it in. I was thinking, you know, the park, but I was like, I really want somewhere where there could be a bit of a crowd. And the first thing I thought was Stocklands, you know, and I, I walked straight into the manager's office and I asked and they said, yeah, you know, we can, we can help you out. I came down from Brisbane because my mum said she wants a day shopping. All of a sudden I saw like this big, what looked like to be a production with news crew and everything. So I was like, oh, that'd be pretty cool to go have a look at. And so Marry Me came on and then mum sort of hinted to me, just enjoy it. I looked down at the ground to start the dance off and there was no one there, right? I looked down at the ground, I looked back up and there's this wall of people and everyone had their phones out and were recording me. And when I started the dance, I was really, really nervous and like I was shaking violently and I forgot some of my dance moves. And then the song changed, so it came to our song, which we normally use. Our song is called Our Song. Yeah. <laughs> we were like dead quiet and um, it sort of made it a lot more meaningful. When I was reposing, I actually got my dancers to help me put on my suit jacket. As soon as I saw it, then put the suit on it with the flowers and the ring box, I just like burst out crying. And then I got on one knee and I proposed to her. I was shaking so badly I almost dropped the ring. I actually put the ring on the wrong hand because I was so utterly nervous. But she said yes, so I'm pretty happy and pretty proud of it all.